Hello friends! In this session, let's try to model an object which is complex and has lots of curved surfaces. Does anything come to mind? How about checking the objects that are around us? We have headphones, bottles, music systems, shoes, and whatnot. Plenty of ordinary household objects have very intricate designs. How about modeling a detergent bottle? Yes, that looks like geometry with a reasonable amount of complexity, and it has many curved shapes. There are quite a few different sizes and shapes of detergent bottles available in the market. Let's pick up this model and create a similar design from scratch. We can use our standard approach for building this detergent bottle. First, analyze the technical drawing and then plan how to build the model. We can see several views and dimensions in the technical drawing. From the bottom view, we can get the dimensions to create the base of the bottle. The right side view provides the height of the bottle, whereas the front cross section view provides the dimensions of the outer shape of the profile. Using these dimensions, we can create the basic outer shape of the detergent bottle. Now comes the complexity of this model, the handle and the circular section that we can see at the center. From the front view, we can see that all these details are located within a circular profile. We can create a circular hole in the outer shape, then create these inner details separately and combine them with the outer shape later. From the front cross section view, we can get the dimensions of the hole located near the handle. We can create a sketch using these dimensions and then use operations like pull and blend to create the surfaces around this slot. Let's look at the circular section located in the middle of the bottle. If you look at the isometric view, it's clear that there is a step near this circular profile, so we will have to offset or move the faces. These dimensions can be found in the view labeled Detail A. Next, if you look at the front view, you can see that the inner circular section has one more shape which connects with the hole located near the handle. We can create this shape using dimensions of a curve provided in this view. Finally, we will have to use the blend tool to connect all the sections. The last part that needs to be created is the bottle cap. This can be created using the dimensions provided in the view labeled right. One thing to note is that the bottle has a symmetric design. We can take advantage of this symmetry and create the circular section and its connecting faces on one side and then mirror them on the other side to complete the design. We now have a plan for creating this detergent bottle. First, create the basic outer shape, then create the section near the handle. After that, create the circular section and connect it with the handle area, mirror the surfaces and combine them with the outer shape, and finally create the bottle cap. Let's get started. Start a new session of SpaceClaim. Set the units. Go to File, SpaceClaim Options, Units. Set Unit Type to Imperial and length to inches. Click select new sketch plane and select the Z axis to create a sketch grid along the XY plane. Create an ellipse from center of dimensions six inches by three inches. Enter one dimension at a time. Switch to 3D mode. Select the ellipse surface and switch to sketch mode. Move the grid up along the Z axis by 9 inches. If you look at the front cross section view, you can see that the center of the upper circular section is offset from the vertical Z axis. Create a circle of radius 1.25 inches or diameter 2.5 inches centered at 1.5 inches to the left of the sketch center along the horizontal axis. Switch to 3D mode. Select the Z and X axes and switch to sketch mode to create the guide curves of the geometry. Select the move grid option and move the grid upward along the green axis so that the bottom edge of the ellipse is clearly visible. Select the three point arc tool. 
First, select the left endpoint of the line representing the ellipse. Then, select the left endpoint of the line representing the circle. Now, move the cursor toward the left side of the arc and specify the radius as 11 inches. Similarly, use the three point arc tool to create a guide curve on the other side of the bottle. Specify the radius as 7 inches. Switch to 3D mode. Select the Blend tool. Select the circular face and the elliptical face. Then click the Select Guides option and select the two guide curves. Press the Control key to select both guide curves. Complete the operation. We have created the basic outer shape of the bottle. The next step is to create a hole within this bottle to create the handle and circular section. Select the Z and X axes and switch to sketch mode. Select the circle tool. Enable layout sketch from the sketch options panel. This will prevent the sketch from getting converted into a surface body. Place the center of the circle at 0.25 inches in the negative X direction and 4.25 inches in the Z direction from the origin. Create a circle with a 6 inch diameter. Switch to 3D mode and hide everything except the circular edge on the sketching plane. Select the edge of the circle and use pull both sides to extend it a total distance of 4 inches. Hide the sketching plane and display the solid body. Activate the split body tool. Select the solid body, then the cylindrical surface to split and separate the central volume. Do not delete any of the solid bodies after splitting. Now, let's create the hole located near the handle. Go to the structure tree and enable sketching plane 1. Then, select this plane and switch to sketch mode. Select the three point arc tool. Make sure that the layout sketch option is still activated. Define the first point at negative 1.25 inches in the horizontal direction and 3.25 inches in the vertical direction from the origin. Next, move the cursor back on the origin and press the shift key to activate the reference dimensions. Define the location of the second point at negative 0.5 inches, 5.75 inches from the origin. Then. Move the mouse so that the arc bends outward towards the right. Specify a radius of 10 inches and hit enter. Create another three point arc using the following dimensions. Start point at negative 2.25 inches, 3.5 inches. End point at negative 1.5 inches, 6 inches. With a radius of 2.5 inches, with the arc pointing in the same direction as the previous one. Next, select the spline tool. Press the Alt key and click the end point of any of the arcs we just created. Then, keeping the Alt key pressed, select the end point from the other arc. This will create a tangent curve connecting both ends. Create a similar tangent curve at the other end. This defines the shape of the bottle handle. Switch to 3D mode. Hide everything except the curves that we just created and the outermost solid body. Select the entire edge loop of the curves. Enable the pull both sides option and pull the edges by a total distance of one inch. Hide sketching plane one. Switch to select mode. Hover the cursor over the rightmost surface to display its center line. Select the axis and then the upper edge of the face. Create a plane passing through the selection. Similarly, select the surface axis at the bottom edge and create another plane. Select the circular edge and click the split tool. Select one of the planes as the cutter plane to split the circular edge. Select the segment 
of the circular edge that is near the handle and split it using the other plane. The circular edge should now be split into a section as shown here. Hide the two planes and select the blend tool. Select the two edges to see the preview of the blended surface. Now, click the Select Guides tool and select the faces adjacent to the two edges. Use the control key for multiple selections. This option will help the newly created face maintain tangency with the adjacent faces. Complete the operation to create the surface. The faces surrounding the edge loop will be created later. We will now proceed to creating the circular section located at the center. As noted earlier, the recessed central section has the same contour or shape as that of the outer bottle surface. We will start by creating the sketch of the curve. Go to the structure tree and enable sketching plane one. Then select this plane and switch to sketch mode. Select the spline tool. Locate the first point at a distance of one inch to the left and 7.5 inches up from the origin. The point should be to the left of the vertical axis. Now, place the next spline point 3.5 inches down and 1.5 inches to the right of the first point. Press the tab key again. Don't hit the enter key or it will define this point as the last point of the spline. The location of the second point is now set. Click on the second point to finalize its placement. Now, let's define the last point of the spline. Place the point at a distance of one inch on the right from the sketch center along the horizontal axis and hit the enter key. Switch to 3D mode and save the model. Display only the curve that we just created, as well as the inner circular solid body. Activate the project tool, select the curve, then click the Select Target Faces option and select the outer face of the solid for projecting the curve. Complete the operation. Now, display only the inner cylindrical body. Hide all other objects. Select the circular edges that connect to the projected edge. There could be two edges. Click the Pull tool and select the Copy Edge option. Select the arrow pointing inward, press the spacebar, and specify a distance of 0.3 inches. Now, select the inner face, right-click, and detach it. Hide the outer surface body. Select the Move tool and move the detached surface inward along the y-axis by 0.3 inches. If you display the outer solid body, you can see the surface has moved inside of the circular hole. Now, create a plane along the XZ plane. Select the mirror tool and mirror the surface body with respect to the newly created plane. Now, select any three corners of the two surface bodies and create a plane. Hide the two surface bodies. Select the front circular edge on the body intersecting the plane. Click the split tool, then select the plane as the cutter and split the edge. Similarly, select the bottom circular edge intersecting the plane and split it using the plane. Hide all the planes and display the surface body located on the front side. Select the circular edges on the inner surface and the corresponding circular edges on the solid body. Activate the blend tool and complete the operation. Click the Pull tool and select the circular edge of the surface.
specify a radius of 0.1 inches and create a fillet. Now, display the surface body Select the two upper edges and create a plane. Similarly, select the two lower edges and create a plane. Select the edge and click the split tool. Split the edge using both planes one by one. Hide the two planes and click blend. Select the two edges to preview the surface. Click Select Guides and select both the faces adjacent to the two edges. Complete the operation to create the blended surface. For better visibility of the surface body, let's change its display style to opaque. Select any one face of the circular body, and from the shortcut menu, change the display to opaque. We now need to create the remaining faces that will connect these sections. Select the edge. Click the split tool to split the selected edge. Hit the spacebar, then enter a value of 3 and press enter. This will split the selected edges into three equal sections. The reason for splitting this edge is that it is highly curved. When presented with geometry like this, it's best to create the blend surfaces in small patches. Click Blend. Select the three edges. Press Alt and select the curved edge as the guiding curve. Complete the operation. Select the two edges shown here and click Split. Split both edges into two segments. Click Blend and select the two edges. Then select the two side edges as the guide curves. These edges will appear in blue. Now press Ctrl and Alt together and select the two faces adjacent to the two edges which are being blended. Complete the operation to create the blended surface. There is one patch left to make. To create this patch, let's use the Fill tool. Click Fill. Select any one edge from the opening. Then double-click it to select the edges along the entire perimeter. From the Options panel, select Patch and enable the Tangent to All Sides option. You can now see the preview of the surface that will be created. Complete the operation. In a similar fashion, create the surface bodies on the upper location. Split the edge into three segments. Click Blend. Select the three edges. Press Alt and select the curved edge as the guide curve. Complete the operation. Select the two edges and click the split tool. Split both edges into two segments. Select blend. Select the two edges and then the guide curves and guide faces. Finally, click Fill and create the surface body at the remaining opening. We have finished creating all the surfaces on the front side. We will now mirror them on the rear side. If you notice, we had already mirrored one circular surface body earlier. Let's delete this body and mirror all the faces created on the front section. Go to the structure tree, select this surface body, 
and hit the delete key. Also, select the four faces shown here. Then, right click and select Detach. This will separate the selected faces into another surface body. Display the plane that we created along the Z-X axis earlier. Click Mirror. Select the plane as the mirror plane. Click on any face of the surface to mirror the entire surface body. We now need to connect all the bodies. Display only the outer solid body. Select the inner cylindrical face, then press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to create a copy of this face. Display all four surface bodies. Go to the Repair tab and click the Stitch tool. It will highlight the stitching locations. Complete the operation. This will stitch the surface bodies as well as convert them into a single solid body. Display the outer solid body and using Combine, merge the two bodies. Next, click Pull and select the circular edges. Double click on any one edge to select the entire perimeter loop. Hit the space bar and enter a value of 0.1 inches. Similarly, create a fillet on the other side. We have completed the central section of the bottle. Let's move on to creating the bottle cap. Select the top circular face and pull it upward by 2 inches. Using the pull tool, select the edges of the circle shown here. Select the upward arrow and pull the edge upward by 0.5 inches. Select the upper cylindrical face and change its radius to 1 inch. Select the circular edges and create a plane. Click Pull and select the lower cylindrical face. Click the Draft option and select the newly created plane as the draft plane. Pull the face inside and specify a draft angle of negative 10 degrees. Select the topmost circular edge and create a fillet of radius 0.2 inches. Select the bottom elliptical edge and create a fillet of radius 0.5 inches. This is the final model. Go to the structure tree and delete all the other objects in the tree except this solid body. Finally, save the model. Congratulations, you've completed the design of the detergent bottle.